I was a boy growing up in Nigeria. Heaven was here. And America was here. I have never wanted anything as much as I wanted to be accepted as an American. You know, I, as an immigrant myself, I mean, this movie means a lot to me. Just, mm -hmm. you know, when, when he talks about America, that's just to me. He says, this is heaven yeah. and this is America. America. And yeah. a lot of people think like that. Right. Can you talk right. a little bit about that? I think, um, you know, I, I love uh, being you know, American. Mm -hmm. You know, like for me, there's, there's no other country on earth where I could be me. Right. You know, like I'm, I'm, you know, a, an African American uh, movie star. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. there's, you know, when I look around the world, there's not many other countries in the world where I'd even have a chance to do what I do on the level that I do what I do. So mm -hmm. I could relate to that in the character of uh, of Dr. Omalu. You know, there's, there's a, you know, there's a, a, a lot of things that you know, need a lot of work here, um, but there's a lot of really wonderful uh, qualities when at their best, you know, it's what we all hope for. You know, just to get into something really serious, um, mm -hmm. I heard that you attended a couple of autopsies too. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that? It must have been, I mean. Yeah, the, uh, the, the character is a forensic uh, pathologist, so you know, is such a big part of his life as an actor, I couldn't skip over that part of it. Right, so I right. wanted to go and I watched him perform uh, a few autopsies and uh, you, you can you can never unsmell that oh, smell. You I was know? thinking about that. Yeah, it it's, been... um, it is, it's, a, it's a difficult thing to watch. It's a complete dismantling of a human body, but right. the, but it was a really sort of a spiritual experience for me also because you become very clear mm -hmm. that a person is not their body. That there's a complete separation between what makes a person and that physical form. Yeah, because when somebody's dead, you know it. Yeah. That soul is not there. Yeah. It's just, it must have been really weird to see that. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then a man who that's what he did. Uh, you know, for a living, that was yeah. his job, and how this discovery, of uh, this issue, right. you know, came came to him. You know, I sat down with your wife. It was, mm. I think, it was for Magic, uh, yeah. Mike, yeah. and you know, she was telling me it's about time that Will's gonna win that Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I, I think it's about time. I think this is really a role. It suits you so well. Right, you, you are so you, incredibly you. good in this. So um, yeah, well, don't jinx it. Yeah. Don't jinx it. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? But she also told me that you know, I, I was talking to her about just staying grounded. I mean, your whole mm -hmm. family is in the business, yeah. and she actually said it's because you still have family members that are mm -hmm. still suffering Absolutely. and going through their struggles. Absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about that? What keeps you grounded? You know, you just uh, Jada and I both uh, grew up in the you know inner cities on the mm -hmm. the east coast of the united states so um we're we are not uh, unclear about what it means to fight and and struggle mm -hmm. to survive um, and you know we worked hard and we've been very blessed and we're, we're never going to take that for for granted you know we, we say no matter uh, how much you rise well, you know, once you once you've experienced being poor, it's really hard to ever yeah. let that let that go. You know, so for for us, it's not like it's a struggle to stay grounded. She gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. I really do. You really do. But they said. Like, tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> I really have funny. to go. Right. You want to slate that for me? Yeah. Too? Okay. Christine Morano, HLM Belgium. I can't even sit like this anymore. <laughs> I feel really bad about it. No, then, it's fine. I won't even bring up the fact that you have to use the bathroom. We won't oh even talk God. about that in the interview. I'm really uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not even lying. <laughs> so sorry. Anyway, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Who are you? Tell the truth. Tell the truth.